Hello! This Oak Creek Public Library tutorial will show you how to fully utilize the resource Hoopla. Hoopla gives Milwaukee County residents access to thousands of downloadable ebooks, e audiobooks, comics, movies, and music albums, all available for mobile or online access. Hoopla is both easy to use and has no waiting lists for any items. Movies are checked out for three days, music for one week, and ebooks, e audiobooks, and comics for three weeks. Please keep in mind that Hoopla has a limit to how many items you can check out per month. This limit is determined by your specific library. We'll start at the home screen on your device, cell phone, tablet, etc. Navigate to your App Store or Play Store wherever you download apps on your device. Tap App Store and tap in the search box and type in Hoopla. Then tap Search. Tap the app Hoopla Digital to open it to see further details. Tap the Download button to install the app on your device. Once the app is finished downloading, tap Open. If you haven't used Hoopla before, then you must create an account. Tap on the Don't Have an Account Sign Up link. Enter in your email address. and a password. Something easy to remember is recommended. Then tap Next. You may have to allow Hoopla to access your location in order to detect nearby libraries. Tap Allow While Using App. Select Oak Creek Public Library from the list. If it is not showing, then search for Oak Creek in the search box below. Make sure to select the correct library based on your residence. So, for example, if you live in West Dallas, make sure to choose the West Dallas Library. Then tap Agree. Lastly, you will need to enter your library card barcode number and PIN and tap Next. If you have issues logging in, please contact the Oak Creek Public Library via email. Our email address is library at oakcreekwi.org. A box may appear with checkout information and etc. Tap Continue. If your device asks to turn on notifications, tap no or yes, depending on your preference. If you have used Hoopla before, then you would sign in with your email address and password and tap login. When you first sign in, it will take you to the My Hoopla page where you can see any checkouts as well as anything you have favorited. At the bottom of the screen, you can browse video, music, or books. You can also perform a keyword search for a specific title, author, series, etc. Tap Video. At the very top of the screen you can change from movies to television. At the top right hand corner, tap Genres. This will allow you to narrow it down to a specific genre, such as animation and cartoons, documentary, drama, and more. You can also filter the results. Tap Filter at the top left-hand corner. A window will appear with two tabs, Filter and Sort. Under Filter, you can narrow down the results by release date, date added to Hoopla, user rating, language,
and children appropriate titles only. Tap the desired filter. Note that you can add additional filters as well. Tap the sort tab to sort the results in order by relevance, popularity, alphabetical order, and etc. Tap the desired sorting option. Once your selections are completed, tap either above or below the box to close out of the options. If you need to remove the filter or change the sorting options, you will have to go back into the options by tapping filter or sort and tapping the filter to remove it or tap a different sorting option. Once you find a title you are interested in, tap the picture. A page will load with information about that specific title, including reviews, summary, duration, length, and etc. Underneath the cover of the video at the top of the page, there are three options, favorite, borrow, and share. If you tap favorite, the heart will turn red and then it will be saved in your favorites section of the My Hoopla area. Share allows you to share the link with another person via Facebook, email, text, etc. The other person will need to have a Hoopla account in order to view the video, however. Lastly, Borrow allows you to check out the video immediately for viewing. Tap Borrow, and a box will pop up letting you know how long the title is available for checkout. Videos can only be checked out for three days. Tap Borrow again. For a television series, you can only check out one episode of a season at a time, not the complete season. However, keep in mind you can check out one episode, watch it, and then immediately check out the next episode. Tap Play to watch the video instantly, or you can access it later in the My Hoopla area. It will open immediately and begin playing. When you play the video, it will give you standard video tools at the bottom, such as fast forward or rewind 15 seconds, pause, play, etc. You can use your finger to drag the bar at the bottom to quickly fast forward or rewind to a certain section within the video. At the bottom right hand corner, you can tap the little text bubble to add or remove subtitles. After a couple of seconds of watching the video, the video tools will disappear. Simply tap the middle of the screen once to view the tools again. The upper right hand corner has the volume adjustment and at the top left hand corner you can change the view so that it is minimized in the corner of your device, full screen without the black bars, or close the video completely by tapping the X. Tap Music. Once you have found a title you are interested in, tap the picture. A page will load with information about that specific title, including reviews, track titles and duration, artist, genre, and etc. Tap Borrow, and a box will pop up letting you know how long the title is available for checkout. Music can only be checked out for seven days. Tap Borrow again. Tap play to listen to the album instantly. It will open immediately and begin playing. <laughs> On the left hand side is a column with all of the track titles. You can skip to a certain song by tapping on it in this list. You know I want you It's not a secret I try to hide The middle column shows you the track that is playing currently, including the length. The standard audio tools are below, such as pause, play, skip to the previous or next track, as well as the volume. The right hand side column gives you options for repeating as well as shuffling. Tap repeat off 
and the setting will change to repeat song, which will repeat the same track over and over again. Tap repeat song, and the setting will change to repeat album, which will play all of the tracks on the album and then start over again. Tap repeat album again to return to repeat off. Shuffle off means that it will play the first track, then the next track, and so on in order. Tap shuffle off, and the setting will change to shuffle album. All of the tracks on that specific album will be shuffled in a random order. Tap shuffle album, and the setting will change to shuffle all, which will shuffle all tracks on all of the different albums you have checked out. So if you have three albums checked out, it will shuffle randomly between all of the tracks on all three albums. Tap shuffle all again to return to shuffle off. Tap the down arrow at the top center of the screen to close out of the music player. Lastly, tap the X at the bottom left hand corner in the black bar to completely close out of the album. Tap books. At the very top of the screen you can change from audiobooks to comics or ebooks. Once you have found a title you are interested in, tap the picture. A page will load with information about that specific title, including reviews, summary, author, genre, and etc. Tap Borrow, and a box will pop up letting you know how long the title is available for checkout. Books of any type can be checked out for 21 days. Tap Borrow again. For audiobooks, tap Play to listen immediately. It will open and begin playing. Harper Collins and Harper Audio present The Good Egg by Jory John. Her the play options are very similar to the music album. The differences are that on the left hand side it shows you a listing of the chapters and allows you to bookmark a particular time in the book if you want to come back to it later. Simply listen to the audiobook and then tap add a bookmark when you get to the section you want to come back to. Tap the down arrow at the top center of the screen to close out of the audio player. Lastly, tap the X at the bottom left hand corner in the black bar to completely close out of the audio book. For comics, follow the same steps we did for an audio book. and then tap Read to open the book. Swipe your finger to the left to advance the pages. Or swipe your finger to the right to go back to previous pages. Tap the center of the screen to see what page you are currently on, listed at the very bottom of the screen, or to flip to a further or previous page quickly. Tap Pages at the top right hand corner and scroll through the pages by swiping down or up to find the page you are looking for. Once found, tap that page to have it open full screen. To get rid of the bars at the top and bottom, simply tap the middle of the screen again. Once you are done reading the book, tap the center of the screen and then tap Done at the top left hand corner. For books, follow the same steps we did for an audiobook.
and then tap Read to open the book. Swipe your finger to the left to advance the pages, or swipe your finger to the right to go back to previous pages. At the bottom of the screen, you can see what page you are currently on. Tap the center of the screen to access additional tools. At the top right hand corner, tap the bookmark symbol to add a bookmark. Tap the set of dashed lines to access the table of contents, which will allow you to jump forward or back in the book, or any previously marked bookmarks. Tap the A's to access readability tools. You can change the lighting, font size, font, line height, margin size, and text justification. Or you can search the entire book by tapping the magnifying glass at the top right hand corner and typing in the word you are looking for. Once you are done reading the book, tap the center of the screen and then tap the X at the upper left hand corner. The search function at the bottom right hand corner allows you to search through all of Hoopla's offerings to find a specific artist, title, or series. Tap in the search box at the top and type in the name of the author or artist, the title, or the name of the series you are looking for. Notice that it may break up the results by what is found in the title, author, or series areas. Tap the desired search to retrieve those results. Lastly, there's the My Hoopla area. Tap My Hoopla at the bottom left hand corner to see what you currently have checked out, previously checked out, and your favorites. Under Borrowed, it shows you what you have checked out or borrowed currently and when they are due back. You can also play any of the items from here by tapping the play arrow. Please note that it will show you how many items you have remaining to check out for the month above all of your current checkouts. Also, even if you check out a title and immediately return it, this will still count against your monthly limit. Tap Favorites at the top left hand corner to see any items that you have favorited. Tap the gear symbol at the top right hand corner to access the settings. Kids mode will change all of the results to only children friendly items. Recommendation settings allows you to select specific genres for ebooks, music, movies, audiobook, television, and comics so that you can get more targeted recommendations at the top of the video, music, and book pages. Personal settings is where you can change your email address or password. Library settings allows you to change your library if you move, for example, your library card if you get a new card with a different number, and your PIN if you change your card's PIN number. Notification settings is where you can change notifications to email or push notifications, which will show up at the top of your device like other apps, or turn off the notifications completely. Link a streaming device is where you can type in the code on a streaming device, such as a smart TV, to stream from Hoopla. Please keep in mind that not all streaming devices may be compatible to stream Hoopla. Lastly, you can tap Log Out if you want to log out of your account and have a different person log in if you are sharing devices, for example. Keep in mind that you do not have to sync your devices. If you are signed into the Hoopla app on one device and signed in on a different device, 
It will update any checkouts as they happen. If you have any further questions about the Hoopla app, feel free to contact the Oak Creek Public Library via email. Our email address is library at oakcreekwy.org. You can also view Hoopla tutorials and instructions for any technical assistance by tapping the settings gear and then tapping the question mark at the upper right hand corner. Thank you for watching this tutorial video featuring Hoopla, created by the Oak Creek Public Library staff.